Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do something just a little different. I always love getting requests from my friends here on YouTube, um, and I've got quite a list of them going right now. So I thought instead of doing manicure straight up on my nails, I would just use some of these little nail tips on my you know, nail stand that my friend JKB sent me, and I would just you know, go through some of these because I don't want them to get so old that the people have forgotten about them or you know, think I'm not paying attention. I just, you know, <laughs> I just had a light snowball on me real quick. So this first one was requested by Gina Rose, and she wanted to see um, this Kiss Polish called Dressy. This is dark green, and um, we're going to top it with smoldering from Revlon. This was another Dollar Tree find, I believe. I don't know. I've bought so much, I'm just having trouble. So I've already got my coats, two coats of the dressy on here, and I'm just going to real quick, and I'm not going to be real thick with it. I'm just going to kind of, because smoldering was quite um, sheer. It was a sheer looking polish. So um, I just thought it might look, and we discussed this in the comments and stuff, thought it might look good layered over like a dark green. And Gina suggested this one, and I thought, well, we can try that, um, you know, just to see how it looks. You know, sometimes layering is a real fantastic way of getting kind of a color you, you want or an effect you want without, you know, having to buy another nail polish. So there we go. That is that. I think it looks really pretty over that. You know, because that, that one was very, very, smoldering was super sheer. I remember swatching it. So, there we go. That one is for Miss Gina. And the next one I have is, um, this is that Square Hue Whisk that I got. And I guess it might have been my last box from Square Hue subscription. And um, this one's for Gigi. She had asked me about this one. So, we've got two coats of um, Whisk down. And then she wanted me to um, put Zoya Aspen on the tips and then top it all off with OPI's Globetrotter. And I got all this stuff, started getting this stuff out, and I thought, ooh, I don't even know, but I do have Snow Globetrotter. So I was really impressed. I was like, whoa, I've got that. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do with this is um, I'm going to do like a little bit of sponging on the with the Zoya on the tip instead of because I'm not really great at the French tip you know French tip manicures that's why I do a lot of cheating with my French tip stamping because I just don't have a steady hand for that kind of thing we've got a dog hair in here imagine that cotton's everywhere so I'm just gonna kinda sponge this on make it look all wintry around. I love these Zoya polishes. I bought a bunch of these ones back in the day. Okay, well, I'm not really liking that, so let's just go in with the brush. Good free hand or not, we're just going to give it a go. And this is a really big nail. Um, you know, it's not, I mean, it's huge compared to my nail. So, But it still gives you an idea of how it looks. And I love how, I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle that comes off of this Zoya polish, but, oh, I hope it shows up. It's got, like, frosty rainbow goodness in it, and it's just so pretty. So I'm going to let this one dry before we top it with the Snow Globe Trotter, and um, we'll move on to the next one. The next one is, I've got a white nail here, and this is just OPI's, you know, Alpine Snow. Not my favorite white, but for this purpose, it'll be just fine. Now, this one was requested by Jam Jams 96 and when I wrote my note, I wrote Starly Potter over white. <laughs> so, I had bought the two Starlies that were um, Harry Potter references, Horcrux, which I um, have not used in a manicure yet, and then Patronus. So what I thought I would do is put half on the top and, ha you know, kind of split it up, because I can't remember which ones I promised. So I figured we'll just, you know, go with it. Um, so this first one is Patronus. 
I'm trying to be you know, quite careful with it. I love these. I love toppers. I used to not love toppers, but over over time I have come around and realized how cool they can be. Because they can change a Like if you've worn a manicure for a few days or something and you're just kind of bored with it, you can just slap one of these toppers on it and voila, you've got a whole new manicure. And I don't know that that's showing up. Let me turn off some lights and see... You can kind of see it picking up a little bit. I will take some photos because a lot of times the photos show better. Okay, so let's get some light back on here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so that first one was Patronus, and then we're going to put Horcrux on the bottom half of the nail. Oh, yeah, that's so pretty. Oh, it does look just great over white. You know, a lot of times you use a black base for, or a dark base for ones like this, but I'm here to tell you, this Horcrux right here, what I'm seeing is just crazy beautiful over the white. I'm really loving that. That is so pretty. So that was Jam Jam's 96 request with the Starly. Potter polishes. <laughs> Need to get my stuff together sometimes, y'all, and write down better notes. Okay, so I'm going to shake up this Snow Globe Trotter. I don't think I've ever used this. I don't remember why I bought it, who who was talking about it, but somebody was, because that's normally how I end up with my polishes. And we're just going to put some of this over all of that. And it just makes such a beautiful wintry magicalness. I like it. See, this would have been maybe the time to use the sponge and get some more of those glitters out. But maybe it being a little more sparse will be a good thing. I love all the little colors in here. I can't believe I've never used this. You know, sometimes with these glitters, you got to kind of dab and play. Got to dab them around. There we go. There's a big one. There we go. Got one of the big ones out. Yay! That looks really cute. I really, really do like that one. That's very cute. So there we go. Awesome. Excellent idea. Beautiful request. It does look like snow. I love it. Digging it, digging it. So, um, here we go with our, well, let me get my other one over here. And I'm going to pop some top coat on these. Let me get them in frame. Heavens to Betsy's girlfriend. Get it together. Um, but I'm going to just top them real quick with some of this Pro FX quick dry top coat. It's what I have sitting out. So um, just put some of that on them. And I did get asked, you know, because I did use this Pro FX. In one of my last videos, I told y'all I was trying it out. I do really like it. Um, and uh, But we're still testing. We're still road testing because I've only used it a couple of times. So I'm going to go down here to this one first. Um, it did dry really quick. It stayed really nice and shiny. Um, my friend Randy said that she normally uses two coats over her manicures and that they just are rock hard and shiny and beautiful and last. Um, I think I just talked to her via um, YouTube, or, yeah, YouTube, no, email, there we go, get it right, and um, she said that she's had on one of our manicures here for two weeks, so that's, that's some good staying power, I like hearing stuff like that, oh, yeah, so I'm getting this top coated really nice, because it's got some chunky glitters and stuff in it, so there we go, awesome, so, here's a final recap. This one's for Gina Rose, and this is the Kiss Polish called, um, it's the dark green base was called Dressy, and then we topped it with Revlon Smoldering. So there you go. Very, very nice. And this next one was requested by Gigi, and this is the um, Square Hue Whisks, Whisk, <laughs> topped with, um, well, it's 
done on the tips with Zoya's Aspen and then topped with some snow globe trotter. That's just that that's just pretty. I would wear that all by itself. I wouldn't stamp on that. I would totally be able to wear that. I would try to do a better French tip, of course, you know, but that's just, you know, that's just me. And then this final one is um, Star Lake Putter <laughs> over white. And we've got, you know, the first one over here is um, Patronus. And that's, that's on this side. And then over here we have Horcrux. And that was requested by Jam Jams 96. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this here little um, demo of request. And, you know, I wish I had time to, you know, have actually done these on my nails. But I don't, like I said, I don't want to run out of time and not get around to something. I, I do have a lot of polish to play with and a lot of um, ideas in my own head. But I do really, really love getting requests by you all and so bring them you know give them to me i do write them all down and it might take me a while to get to them but i will get to them so that is all i have for today i hope you enjoyed this one please leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on these three demos and i will see you next time and until next time be good to yourself i'll talk to you soon bye